It's No Money Spent episode five. Today, we're talking about solo battles. It's a boring game mode, but as No Money Spent players, this game mode should be one of our best friends. Let's get right into it, boys. Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's here. We're back with another video. Today, we're talking about solo battles in No Money Spent episode five. I wanted to make an entire video of this because I don't think people realize how important solo battles is, especially as a No Money Spent player. Solo battles has changed over the years. In earlier Maddens, we were trying to grind for, you know, Legend and Top 100 to get all those rewards, as we know. That is a thing of the past. Unfortunately, we just, we aren't doing that anymore. We can't even score in Legend to get 40,000 coins. It's not a thing. So now, Solo Battles is just there as a game mode for grinding stats, pretty much. That's all it is. If we take a look in all the field passes, there is literally zero reason to play above the rookie difficulty. Nothing. In, in years past, you'd play on Legend to get a higher score, but score now does not matter. The only thing that matters is stats. So before we get into this, if you guys are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and throw a like on the video. Also, Underdog Fantasy right here. Make sure you guys check out the app. We've got NFL season coming up here very, very soon. The best way to support the channel is to use code SNODS at checkout. It will match your first deposit up to $100. Let's get into it, boys. If you're looking to build that coin stack and get the best team in mud, be sure to check out MMOEXP.com. Build those coins. Build your squad. Be sure to use code SNODS at checkout to save 5% off on your order. Link will be in the description down below. All right, so solo battles, our favorite game mode. One of the most boring, but also can be the most rewarding. Not from getting top 100, not from scoring legend, from getting stats for our field passes. So if we take a look into our competitive field pass right here, this is a big one. There's a lot of really good things in here, especially as a no money spin account. You guys wanna make sure that you're grinding out all of these field passes. So first thing we wanna look at in these field passes is the daily objectives. You wanna rush for 120 yards. You can get that easy in solo battles. Pass for 275 yards in a single game. You can get that in a couple drives. I'm not even kidding and record two interceptions. You can get that in solo battles as well. Next thing I wanna do is go over to the solo battles tab. Now, as you can see here, we have most of them done. What you wanna do before you jump into these solo battles games is write down all of these stats that you're close to getting, and you wanna to try to knock out those stats in that solo battles game. You wanna go into these solo battles with a plan, right? You wanna go into these solo battles knowing what challenges that you're gonna complete. You don't wanna just jump in there Willy dilly have a no idea what you're trying to accomplish. Have a goal, have a notebook in front of you, write down the stats that we're going to be needing in these games. Like I said, we're playing on rookie, right? So you got the arcade game mode that you're playing under, which is the easiest one. If you hit stick the opposing team, they fumble every single time. So defense is easy. Offense, all you gotta do is just lob the ball up or run the ball. You can literally do anything you want and get as many stats as you need. Um, the next thing we want to take a look at is the milestones. Milestones is stats still, but they're a little higher and tougher to get. The good thing is we can achieve these stats by playing solo battles. You don't have to just play head to head. Head to head does count towards this, but you can also do it in solo battles. Get these stats a little faster. I haven't completed much. I've only done two of them so far, but as you can see here, we're making great progress on all of these. That was just the competitive field pass. So. Solo battle stats can carry over to other field passes as well as we get a level up right there. You wanna make sure you're doing that as much as possible. Just hop into your field pass and refresh it and it'll level up your stuff. It won't do it immediately a lot of the times, but let's go to the season one field pass in here. There's also solo battle stuff in here too, believe it or not. There's also daily stuff in here too. You gotta to make sure you're checking both of them. They both have their own daily objective so score 10 points record two sacks and score eight touchdowns it's very easy to do when you're playing solo battles in here it's a little different the stat grind is a little longer but again all of this that you're seeing right here can be obtainable in solo battles as well so again take your notebook out write down the stats that you need go into solo battles for a reason. Also, I completed all the stats that we need in the team captain's field pass as well. These were all done in solo battles. Uh, again, you have to make sure you're writing down the stats that you need. 
Another big thing for these separate promo field passes is to make sure that you're putting players from this promo in your lineup, whether it's the 80 overall, whether it's a gold player, it doesn't matter who it is, as long as he's in your lineup, he will count for these stats. Like the get tackles with a team captain in your lineup. I had Eric Berry at my safety, boom. I don't have to get tackles with Eric Berry, just tackles with my team. It's easy as that, just make sure the players are in your lineup. So that's pretty much the biggest thing with solo battles. It's different this year. There's The purpose of it is completely different than what we're used to. Last year, you had to always play on MVP or higher and get wins on those. Right now, that's not a thing in Madden 24. There is no prerequisite as far as what difficulty you need these solo battles games to be at. Right now, the only thing that matters in solo battles is getting stats. So don't play anything higher then rookie it doesn't matter what team you're playing they're all going to be bad if you're playing on rookie so just play it that way also remember that this refreshes every single day so as you can see right here i have all four of these games completed from yesterday all i have to do is hit right trigger to refresh it a lot of you guys might notice that there's no new opponents right now check for that update opponents and the bottom of the screen hit right trigger and you should be able to update it and get four more new opponents and then when you jump in the game always select rookie i would jump in the game and show you guys but you guys know all you got to do to get stats is just run the ball if you need rushing stats it's easy to get that there's no glitchy play you're going to be able to get a lot of yards just by playing on rookie and of course if you need passing yards just put your best receiver on a streak and they're going to get open nine times out of ten also on defense onside kick all the time try to get a hit stick because they're going to fumble if you don't big deal you can go the next drive on defense you're going to get tackle stats you need those so playing defense is pretty important uh if you guys ever hit stick on defense again they're probably going to fumble so yeah guys that's pretty much it all this stuff that we're seeing right here these ranks they don't mean anything they mean absolutely nothing i don't even know why they're in the game it's here to tell us that we're gonna get a thousand coins if we score a legend and we're also gonna get a thousand co coins for scoring rookie it makes zero sense i don't know why it's in the game they also have the top 100 here that i mean i don't i don't know what the point of this is either we're not getting any rewards for it but I guess if you want to score number one and you want your name on the screen here, you can do that. But other than that, the my rank at top 100 doesn't matter at all. Just get your stats. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe to the channel and throw a like on the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm out of here. Peace.